Oh, he's very good. Um, at Cheltenham was more tactical. There was four or five horses to beat today. I only had Arctic Fire to beat, and I knew going a real good gallop would do that for me. Um, you know, he jumped really, really well today, and he handled. He loved the ground, and you know, and I knew same as last year. I knew when, I, when he pinged the second last, and I just dropped my ass in the saddle, and he was gone out from underneath me. He had tons of horse, you know. You let him roll to the first row. You, 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 you just dropped your hands and let him rock and roll the way do, down to the do, first. Do, down yeah, the but we learned that from school and yeah. that. He's the kind of horse you have to roll forward on, and even when you're wrong, keep the pressure on with yeah. your legs and keep lying forward on him. Is, is that because he's such a big stride? Yeah, but when he gets in at a hurdle, if you let him back off, yeah, it's too he, slow. He, he gallops on and kind of plays the bunny hop. So you keep the pressure on him, it keeps him thinking, and he, he jumps back. You have him squeezed to the girt the whole way down to the board. Like, right you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. If he wants to come, then he can come, and if he wants to get in, and he can get in. He's clever enough when he gets down there that you have him squeezed up in underneath you, that when he gets in close, he, yeah. he's quick enough. He is, yeah. 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 Just keep going forward. I mean, he's he's boodles a, boodles a speed, but he's an incredible amount of stamina too. I mean, he won a three mile novice hurdle at at Christmas and and bottomless ground, bottomless ground, won a point of point, sk skated in the bumper here. You know, he jumped really, really well today, and I thought it was a great. Fight. I see he doesn't even know how good he is himself. No, but hopefully we'll never find out how good he has to be either. Yeah. <laughs> um, We've ridden lots of them, but just like. like as we said at Christmas, whether it's chasers or hurdlers, we all like to get excited because that's what brings more people into the sport. A horse of this calibre has got to excite everybody. Does it excite Ruby Walsh? Oh God, he does. And even like you're not going out to ride him, he's the kind of horse that, even for me, it gets you nervous going out. Um, does he? Yeah, oh God, he does. You're going out thinking like this is the best around, like, and you're and you're riding him. Um, but he's a, he's a he's a great horse, and you know he keeps improving and. You know, he improved an awful lot from last year to this year. He doesn't have to improve again, but there's still the possibility that he could improve through the summer. But the beauty about him too is he's so un uncomplicated. Yeah. You can jump out, make the run. You're not dependent on someone no. to make the run. And no, but they, I, I don't know. The more you look at it, the more the great horses all seem to be the very same. It yeah. should be very uncomplicated. Yeah, Cato, Big Bucks, Mastermind, yeah. Hurricane go, Fly. Even go with the ones in the flat, Frankel, whatever. It seems so uncomfortable. They can make it, they can drop in, yeah, yeah. go flat out on them, you can hack around on them. Mother Goose could ride them. Exactly, isn't yeah. it? But that's, uh, Davey will tell you, the yeah. hardest part about riding is getting on the horse. Yeah. and actually riding them. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, but that's, that's, well, that's, I'm always saying that. That's the beauty about riding a good horse. Like, you know, I suppose when I was in Jiggenstown, I had loads of good horses. Go out to the start, jump out in the first two or three there, and you're happy enough. Mm -hmm. But when you, like, for me to ride against him, I, I, I don't know how I'd, how I'd try and get you tactics wouldn't, right. He's, he's just straightforward. You can, Someone wants to go flat out like he did in the Christmas hurdle, you can sit, sit in, in and yeah. if they don't, you can book out and go, it's great. Well, yeah. What are you saying subconsciously, third, going to the third last, going to the second last, and you had a peep over your, your left shoulder, you must say, oh my God. You have a look to see, do I have to set sail or can I just coast? So I had a look and Paul was at Arctic Fire, so I knew I could coast down then. I didn't have to grab a hold of them and you know, see what was under the bonnet. I was able to, to coast down there in front. Dad was mentioning that the only horse that might, might get close to him is in the, the same colours, Duvan. I'd say Vatour, but he never had to get close to <laughs>